From the previous lesson, you have learned the physical properties and the chemical reaction. Can you predict the physical properties of rubidium, cesium, and francium? Conclusion: All group one metals are soft. The density of group one elements increases as we go down the group. The melting point and boiling point of group one elements decreases as we go down the group. Can you predict the chemical reaction of rubidium, cesium, and francium with water, oxygen, and chlorine? Conclusion: We have already known that. As we go down the group, the reactivity of group one element increases. As we go down the group, the valence electron is further from the nucleus. Moreover, the valence electron is also shielded by the inner negatively charged electrons. Going down group one, the distance between the nucleus and the valence electron increases. The force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron decreases. Tendency to release valence electron increases. Reactivity increases. Rubidium, cesium, and francium are the three other elements in group one. The atomic size and mass density increase from rubidium to cesium to francium because of the arrangement of electrons. Rubidium, cesium, and francium also can conduct heat and electricity, and they have low melting and boiling point. The atomic size and mass density increase from rubidium to cesium to francium because of the arrangement of electrons. All alkali metals have similar chemical properties because they have one electron in their outermost occupied shells. Therefore, the chemical properties for rubidium, cesium, and francium are the same as lithium, sodium, and potassium. Rubidium, cesium, and francium react with oxygen to form a metallic oxide, which dissolves in water to produce an alkali. Rubidium, cesium, and francium react with chlorine to form a metallic chloride. Rubidium. Cesium and francium react with water to produce an alkali and hydrogen gas.